Whew, ah, look at this. Yeah, I thought I'd dress a little nice because low key, this is like the end of my team. Because 2K released these out of position two packs and just look at this. This is a team you can create in my team right now. As they released an out of position shooting guard, Kevin Garnett, a point guard hero, Nikola Jokic, and a small forward, Big Z, allowing you to have a full team of seven footers. That's why it's literally the end of my team. We're in end game already. Now, if you're wondering where the videos have been, I am actually still sick. It sucks, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard this week. Trust me. Anyway, we also have some other amazing players being Dark Matter Ron Artest who can play point guard. This Andre Iguodala who looks great. This Opal Hero Hedo looks amazing. And this man right here is a great budget card because he's a six foot 10 point guard. But you know what? I think it's our time. I think it's our time to go across and buy some VC, even though unfortunately the odds are still under 2% to get a Dark Matter. But we got to try it. So uh, let's buy the VC. And while I'm at it, be sure to smash that like button. I dressed up nice for this occasion so let's see if we can get um a nice uh, 450 likes i believe in you all so we've got our vc and now it's time to get into the packs and if you guys don't know too there is also playoff cards in these packs which could be exciting to get because some of the playoff cards can go for a lot of mt just like this man right here grant williams our first playoff card and this is my first time opening up packs since playoff cards have been added so we do get a shake straight away and that's a galaxy opal straight away so i'm hoping for zadrunas ilgowska so that's exactly who we're hoping for not who we're going to get. It's Eastern Conference. Wait, is it him? Number four. No, it's Antoine Jamison. That's who it is. I mean, the card seems kind of cool, I guess. It's our first Oop 2 player. Oop 2. I like that. You know what we need to see, though? We need to see that Dark Matter shake. So Jalen Williams isn't going to be that. But the more playoff players I get is exciting, though, because they can go for quite a bit. For example, like the Galaxy Opal Steph Curry is going for like 300,000 MT as we had a pink diamond that we've already pulled. Okay, it's Steph Curry. But that's just the normal version. We want to get the playoff one because it goes for so much. So we do get another normal shake. This one is another Galaxy Opal. Okay, Big Z, welcome to the team. Let's flip it and let's see. That's Andre Iguodala. That's already Andre Iguodala. I can see by the body shape. We love the body. It's a Warriors point guard, six foot six. Actually looks pretty good. It's Iggy. I be that I-G-G-Y. I put my name in gold. No, bold? I think it's bold. I said, baby, you do this. You know that? I, I don't even know the words, but I feel like that's a good thing that I'm not doing going word for word or else it would be somewhat embarrassing. But next pack up, Amethyst. Definitely not what we want to see, but it's probably a playoffs player because I have pretty much every single other one. So it might not be the worst thing in the world because some of them actually go up quite high up. Is this um, DeJounte Murray? Pretty sure it's DeJounte Murray. Hopefully he plays really well and gets an Opal or something. Actually, he already has an Evo. What does he go up to? I don't know. Let's look it up. He goes up to a pink diamond. So that's pretty much like getting a pink diamond pull right there, which isn't too bad. That's just a normal shake once again. This one is finally just a normal pink diamond. So low key, I'm actually kind of hoping for a playoffs card, but I think this is going to be that six foot 10 point guard that we're talking about. So a pretty good card that's definitely going to be all right and definitely going to be fun to use. I remember I actually met this dude in, uh, in America. So shout out. Wait, was it him? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was because I remember him being so tall. So shout out. Anyway, Amethyst, who is it? Donovan Mitchell. So yeah, I promise you guys, I actually haven't been just slacking. Well, I definitely have been slacking on the videos. I can't deny that but also i actually have been sick and it's really sucked this one's gonna be robert williams we're hoping for the hero version because he's a small forward a tall small forward too so hero would actually make him quite good and it is the normal version but yeah i've been so sick for like the last two weeks i just haven't really been able to do too much so i do apologize but hopefully now that we're back we can get on a streak of videos to come so next shake up is another pink diamond. There is an Allen Iverson as well that can play power forward and small forward, which is exactly who we're going to get. This is the weirdest card in the set. Literally, it's a six foot power forward. I don't think anyone is going to use this card. And if you do, you're getting destroyed by Taco. Even if that card's like dominant position was a point guard, it would still suck. So do not use that one. Ruby, playoffs. Yes, it's Grant Williams again. We need Grant Williams to have that insane game he had last season in the playoffs because then he'll go up to probably like a Dark Matter or an Opal. So far though, this box definitely hasn't gone crazy. We need something to make it insane. Just letting you know too. 2k a dark matter would do that for me pink diamond in the middle that ain't it i find it crazy how far hard it is to get these playoffs cards like we don't even get one here we get another alan iverson we're gonna see that card so often we do get another shake it's just normal 
just a pink diamond. So either Robert Williams, the hero version, I can't even think of another player. It is Robert Williams. So hopefully this means because we pulled the other one, this should be the hero version if it's not glitching. I'm about to cough. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know. And it is the hero version. That's a minor dub, just a small dub, just a small one. But now this is our final pack of this box. So yeah, I wouldn't say that was amazing. Just another pink diamond. Yeah, not really a fan of that. Did they do anything cool this weekend? Any cool challenges? I mean, yeah, it's just the normal challenges. Is it easy to get the free pack? Let's have a look. Three challenges. Is the final one easy? Just win the game. Oh, it's a full game, really? That's kind of annoying. But you know what? I'm going to do what I did last time. Let's close my app and let's go back in just to refresh the packs. Okay, we're back. Let's go into the packs. Let's not even think about it. Let's do another. Like, you got to just think, surely, hey, surely. I'm wearing literally like a polo shirt. I don't think I've ever done this in a video maybe the last time i did this okay we get a shake it's a galaxy oval straight away was when i pulled those like 18 pink diamonds when pink diamonds were a 99 overall if you know you know oh oh my god western conference center who is this um number one this one's going to be t-mac such a weird card that can play center I, I don't know. It's so random, but he doesn't have like the KPJ base, which makes him not insane, unfortunately. But it's like a fun card, I guess. People were really hoping it was going to be almost a duplicate of his Dark Matter. Unfortunately, it's definitely not. It's not the worst thing in the world because it probably would have been a bit OP if we had a power forward that could literally shoot the ball instantly. So it will come out soon. There's no doubt about it. We get a Ruby here. It's Jaron Jackson Jr., the defensive player of the year. So uh, big shout out to that man. Surely we've got to get a shake. Soon. It's another pink diamond that doesn't shake. Man, literally all I want to see is just this slower shake. This slower shake. We're getting so many pink diamonds, but they aren't shaking. So it's just nothing to get excited about. This one, again, not a shake, a ruby. It is a playoffs holo card. I guess that's kind of cool. I know I'm falling asleep opening up these packs. It's an amethyst. So it should be a playoffs player. And some of these playoffs cards can actually be quite good. So Eastern Conference, Power Forward. Is this like... um? Is this John Collins? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be John Collins. So two Hawks playoffs players. Interesting. It feels so weird to get an Amethyst shake and actually realize it's going to be a new player, which is quite fun. But man, all I want is just something crazy, but we're just not getting it. There's an Opal. Nice. I want it to be like Steph Curry, the playoffs version, or the Big Z. Who is it? Western Conference Center number 15. This is Jokic. No, no, it's not going to be... No, it's his NBA Series 2. If this was the playoffs version, it would have gone for quite a lot of MT. Unfortunately, it's not though. Oh, that's an L. I got excited there for a second because I think that's exactly the animation we wanted to see. Exactly what we needed, except when it said 97 overall. Pretty sure I had to say 98, but... It's okay. Remember also, Jokic is the main player we want in these packs and uh, we got the Galaxy Opal, not the Dark Matter. Just absolutely bound to happen, hey? Absolutely bound to... Oh, dude, I'm not enjoying this. Like, surely they got to boost the odds. You know, last time they banned a lot of players in the game, they then up the odds like crazy because they released those stellar packs. It seriously isn't looking like it's happening right now. These under 2% chance of getting a Dark Matter is... Uh... <coughs> Killing me, I should say. Sleep tired, that's all I gotta say, because it's nothing to get hyped about. I think I've pulled, what, two Galaxy Opals in this box, and that's it. Another shake, that's just a diamond, but actually some of the diamonds can be quite good. So, make it a good playoffs player. Eastern Conference, small forward, I, I have no idea. Number 25, is this like Robert Covington? Yeah, it... No, it's Daniel House. I would have never expected this man to be a diamond, but okay, fine. It's actually so weird seeing the diamond shake. I don't think I've seen that for so long, but we're now on to the second last pack. Bro, this is literally my last. Like, this is my last pack of these boxes, and this has been bad, and I mean very bad. What even was that? I got, like, four okay cards, and that's it. Mm, singles time. Man, I, I don't really know what to say. Pink diamond in the middle, fine. The thing you got to remember, there's literally one galaxy opal i want in this entire pack too and it's either well there's two there's either hedo bang galaxy opal or the big z and we've pulled neither of them so which one's this going to be it is going to be a eastern conference shooting guard is this him the big z number four no it's antoine jamison once again so we've pulled him before 
don't really care anymore. I want the big Z. I literally think I only have one more pack with VC remaining after this one. So we get another shake in the same spot and it is another Galaxy Opal. You know who we want, either Hedo or Zadrunas Ilgauskas. It's going to be another Anton Jamison. Like, did they just chuck him in the packs and go, now's the time we're going to make him throw out because... Hey. Cool, Anton Jamison again. It was like the exact same pack. Why did I get dressed up? I don't even know, because this has definitely just not been the vibe. No shake, pink diamond, great. That's the end of the VC packs. We're gonna go down to 1.5. We've got about, what, four more packs to go after this one. So can we get one shake in five packs? That's the real question. We get a ruby here, not good. Bro, my throat is absolutely killing me. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Did you know I've been sick recently? I don't think I've told you enough, but we, we got a dark matter. Oh, dude, that is, that is hurting. We got it. <laughs> oh no. We got a dark matter in our MT singles. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Finally, the MT singles pay off. Can this please be? The only one I don't really want is Run Our Test. I really badly want Kevin Garnett or Jokic. So I'm hoping not for Run Our Test. Even though I really like the card, I just don't think he's going to go for as much. So you know what to do. Base drop me now. The question is, can we get our first hero Dark Matter? That's the real question. So let's flip it and let's see who it's going to be. Not Run Our Test. Please, please, please. Uh, it's, looking, it's looking like Jokic. It is Jokic. Okay, let's make it the hero version for me. Number 15, 99 overall i'm already happy but hero Jokic, it's the normal version i'm absolutely fine with that let's go baby we just got our point guard we just literally got our point guard okay that is massive like absolutely massive i can't believe i did that out of an mt single let's go baby okay well that just saved the entire pack opening you can't deny that because my vc absolutely sucked but then we just come through and get nikola Jokic. let's go dude my throat is actually dead like actually dead but i had to get excited for that because we just pulled a dark matter Jokic. i'm gonna go back down to 1.5 just in case, because that was that was pretty hype. That was pretty hype out of the MT singles. Next one up, another shake. A Galaxy Opal. We go from... Wait, I think we got a pink diamond before. To I don't even know. The Big Z, can we do it? It's another Antoine Jamison. Maybe it's a good sign getting this card, because we got him. Then we got a Dark Matter in the next pack, I'm pretty sure. So... These singles have been pretty far. I'm not going to deny it. The good thing is I definitely wanted Jokic more than I wanted Run Our Test. So I'm happy. I'm another shake. What is going on? Like Pink Diamond now. We went from Dark Matter to Galaxy Opal to now Pink Diamond. And this should be a Pink Diamond I haven't pulled yet. So it's a Western Conference Center. Number 22. Is this like... Mo Bumba? I think it... No. This is Elgin Baylor. What a weird card. He actually looks pretty good as a point guard, to be honest. So we'll take that. And this is now my final MT single, but it might not be. It truly might not be. We get nothing in it. We get a pink diamond. Okay, not the worst. Let's go until we don't get an out of position player. We could be here spending all our MT, or we could finish right this second. Yeah, just one more just in case. Because finally these have paid off, which is crazy to say because it has taken a long, long time. So to end it off, we get a ruby. Okay, I did get a new player though, so one more. I may have gone 50k over. May have gone 50k over. You always know that's going to happen though. So next pack up. Yeah, we got to stop now because this isn't worth it. Just one more though. I don't know why I do this. I just get so addicted. And the reason for it is because you're able to get those dark matter pools like we just got. Of course, I have to get a pink diamond now. That's just 2k really me and saying, hey, just one more. One more because the dark matter's incoming. You know what they're saying? They keep on saying it to me. I hear them saying it to me. Pink diamond again. It's coming. It's crazy to think I'm literally spending like 15,000 MT for a pink diamond that goes for like 2,000. So I don't know why and I definitely shouldn't have done that. But it's literally all good because we pulled this man right here. Dark matter Nikola Jokic. And like he's six foot 11 as a center. He can do literally everything on the basketball court. It's going to be so good. I'm going to put a shoe on him to give him extra speed. Man, he's going to be a beast. Not to mention his 30 Hall of Fame badges. Just insane. I could get him up to about 54 Hall of Fame badges if I put all of mine on him. Is that a good idea? I don't know. There's not many of him in the auction house either. I do kind of wish we got this hero version. But when you compare them, it's not even really that crazy. Like, yeah, the dunking's better. Yeah, a couple of the stats, like the speed and so on. But with a coach that goes up quite a bit there's 10 hall of fame badges as the difference but the best thing is is the fact that the release is the same on both cars and that is clean as you can see with the meter it is so nice like yeah that is smooth it releases high he's six foot eleven he can do absolutely everything
everything. He's got a good fading release too. That's uh, actually quicker than I thought. Okay, well, let's get it going this time. Fading release, green, it's good. And now let's pass it back out to him. And he can obviously slam it too. Yeah, I'm so happy we got this card. Do I have any out of position cards? Yes, I do. Give me that one token. And now just look at this squad. Like it is so tall. I need to get this to drink some gas for so there's actually a lot of him up. But I'm so happy we got this man right here. As he absolutely saved the pack opening. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Our stressing up definitely worked out. So that was a huge dub. And I'm very glad we were able to do it. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for new. Follow me on TikTok. TikTok. Actually, not TikTok. It got banned. I keep on forgetting. But follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.